Hello and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Today we are going to explain what is enhanced due diligence, when to perform it and consequences of failing to apply enhanced due diligence when applicable. But before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So before talking about enhanced due diligence, let's first explain what is Know Your Customer Checks and why they are required. Know Your Customer Checks or Customer Due Diligence must be carried out on every single customer or client that your company considers doing business with. It's the process which entails verifying the identity of your customer beyond any doubt by cross-referencing details like name, address and date of birth against the public information available. OK, so what is enhanced due diligence? Enhanced due diligence, or simply EDD as it is mostly known, is the additional analysis and cautionary measures aimed at identifying customers and confirming that their activities and funds are legitimate. Enhanced due diligence is an additional level of risk identified at the time of performing the customer due diligence checks and is associated with high risk customers. When is enhanced due diligence performed? Companies should conduct enhanced due diligence in high risk situations. Situations that present a higher money laundering risk might include, but are not restricted to. Customers linked to higher risk business sectors. Customers who have unnecessary complex or opaque beneficial ownership structures. Transactions that are unusual, lack an obvious economic or lawful purpose, are complex or large or might lend themselves to anonymity. Customers identified to be politically exposed person. Customer registered in high risk third countries. A country on the Financial Action Task Force list or other monitored jurisdictions. For example, grey list. Once the relationship is established at the time of onboarding, companies are required to conduct ongoing monitoring, such as transaction monitoring and periodic review on a more frequent basis, normally on an annual basis. Enhanced due diligence risk indicators. When evaluating the level of risk associated with a business relationship, there are a variety of risk factors that can be taken into account. In broad terms, they can be grouped into three categories. Customer risk factors, product and transaction risk factors, and geographical risk. Customer risk factors are indicators associated with the end customer, whether that's an individual or a company, such as. The customer is a company that has nominee or bearer shares within its structure, or the customer is a business that is cash intensive. Product and transaction risk factors are indicators associated with the product and services being offered to the customer, such as Customer payments will be received from unknown or unassociated third parties, or the relationship being entered is considered to be non-face-to-face. -face. Finally, geographical risk are indicators associated with the countries where the business is being conducted, such as Countries identified by creditable sources as having significant levels of corruption or other criminal activity and or countries subject to sanctions, embargoes or simpler measures issued by the Office of Foreign Assets Control or the United Nations Security Council. Applying a risk-based approach at the time of enhanced due diligence. The Financial Action Task Force, or FATF, requires that all countries and businesses operate using a risk-based approach to anti-money laundering precautions. This applies to every aspect of AML compliance, including enhanced due diligence. In the 40 recommendations initially published by the FATF, it states that a risk-based approach allows countries within the framework of the FATF requirements to adopt a more flexible set of measures in order to target their resources more effectively and apply preventative measures that are commensurate to the nature of risks. 
This is why enhanced due diligence is required only in application to customers who could be considered high risk or high net worth. After KYC checks have taken place, you can identify whether or not your customer warrants further investigation and apply a risk-based approach to how you proceed. What happens if companies fail to apply enhanced due diligence? Once you've identified that a customer is a risk to your company, failing to carry out enhanced due diligence can make your business more vulnerable to financial crimes like money laundering. Simply put, you risk the financial integrity and reputation of your company by avoiding to perform the right level of due diligence. On top of this, if your business is audited to check that it's AML compliant and you haven't subjected your high-risk customers to enhanced due diligence, you could face serious penalties due to being in breach of local AML regulatory requirements. Okay, let's recap. Enhanced due diligence is an additional level of risk identified at the time of performing the customer due diligence checks and it is associated with high-risk customers. Situations that present a higher money laundering risk might be Customers identified to be politically exposed person Transactions that are unusual, lack an obvious economic or lawful purpose, are complex or large or might lend themselves to anonymity Customer registered in high risk third countries A country on the Financial Action Task Force list or other monitored jurisdictions, for example, Grey List Customers linked to higher risk business sectors and customers who have unnecessary complex or opaque beneficial ownership structures. Well, there you have it. A basic introduction to what is enhanced due diligence, when to perform it, and the consequences faced if failing to apply enhanced due diligence when applicable. Please tell us in the comments section what is your interpretation of enhanced due diligence and what other measures should be applied. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.